My name is Marcos Castro. I'm a senior product manager and I work in Microsoft Teams. And today I'm going to present about stage view with Viva Connections and a custom ACE card that I have built for some customers. So the scenario is Viva Connections admin. I want to pin multiple Microsoft Forms in, in the dashboard. So we had some customers that had about 12 different Microsoft Forms. So as you can imagine, there are some problems with, with that approach. So the way to do that now uh, would be, you know, create one card per form. And we have no custom built-in cards for Microsoft Forms. So we use a web link and you just add the link to your Microsoft Forms. And so there are some issues, right? You end up with a very big uh, your connections dashboard with 10 different cards. Also, one issue that we found out is uh, when the customers were using mobile clients, there was some issues with SSO. So when you open Microsoft Forms, users would be asked to authenticate, and then they would be able to respond to the Microsoft Forms. And that would work without authentication for one week or so, and then they would need to authenticate again, and, and so on. So uh, we got some, I will show later on View Connections how we did to, to solve that question. So we developed a custom ACE card. And instead of just using the web link, we are opening the Microsoft Forms in Stage View in Teams. And the same for Power Apps. So exactly the same scenario. I have a customer that has 10 different Power Apps and they want to show th those in View Connections. Uh, again, the same problem. You would need a lot of different tiles there on your dashboard, and space can be one, one thing to consider, especially for users that are using mobile. In desktop, is okay, you have more space, but in a mobile, uh, if we can just bundle all the apps together, it looks much better. And other thing that we found out with the Power Apps is that uh, many times the 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 SharePoint admin and the, the Viva Connections admin is not a Teams admin person. So to, they would need to ask somebody else to go to Teams admin center and upload uh, the app manifest and install that uh, using an app policy for all the users. So then they could start using the app. And as I'm going to show you with uh, stage view, uh, you can actually jump that step. You don't need to install the, the application for all your users. I'm going to share my demo here. OK, so we are now in Viva Connections, and I have here a normal web link that opens on Microsoft Forms. So this is the usual way to do it, right? So you just click it, and as you can see, Microsoft Forms will open in another tab. So that's one way to do it. Another way is to form uh, the uh, stage view. And using deep link, I can open here the forms in a stage view. One benefit of doing this way already is that the user is kept on Viva Connections. You don't have a separate tab, and you know you just close it and you can open another form. But the way we do with this customized card is with one single card, you can have multiple forms. And I can open it opens in stage view. I can respond to that, I can close. And again, open another one. So as you can see, it's a yeah, it's much better for a user experience for the user. I can also like if it's not a Microsoft form, uh, it's just an external URL. Then okay, the user will be redirected to that external URL. On Power Apps, the same thing. Uh, so I can just have a web link and just open the app in a separate tab, and that works like this. But one better approach would be opening stage view. Oh, no, this is actually, I'm actually uh, publishing the Power Apps in Teams and redirecting the usage to that Power App. So as you can see, the load time is, is bigger. And if the user has to do something else on your connections, I have to go back. And again, it's just a waste of time for, for the user. Another approach that you can do is using stage view. So you just directly open this, the app here in stage view. So again, the user is kept here on the context of your connections, and he doesn't have to somewhere else to go back here to your connection. And another approach is use our custom ACE card. So again, here I can just bundle multiple 
multiple power apps and just open stage view and do what I need to do here on this app. So if I need to raise an incident, I can go here and I can close and I can just go to another app and do whatever I need again and just close. And I, again, I'm kept here on the connections. Other benefit of using the stage view is I'm going to switch users now. So I have one user that does not have installed one R app, right? So I have this incident app. And if I use the traditional approach of just redirecting the user to the app, it's going to ask the user to, to install the, the app. But if I use the same approach, but using stage view, so actually the app opens and the user doesn't even have to install the application. So again, I don't you need to chase uh, the teams that mean to go there and install and use application policy to install that for every user. It just works. Okay, let me share my slides back again. And yeah, just to show you how the structure of this customized card works. So basically it's just a SharePoint list and we have only four columns, a title, an image, a description, and a link. Uh, the link is uh, multiple lines of text just because sometimes with our apps you have a bigger uh, URL, so more than 255 characters. So the hyperlink column doesn't work for this scenario. And basically that's the configuration that you have to do. You just have a title for the card, a description, and just the site URL and the grid of, of the list. And that's it. You just add there your URL of your Microsoft Forms or the URL of your Power Apps, and, and that's going to work. So it's, it's pretty simple. And that's how we generate the, the stage view. Uh, it's kind of a science here. Uh, so basically, you have, you, uh, you have to sign that you're going to open a stage. And for Microsoft Forms, this is the ID of the Teams app for Microsoft Forms. And then this, this is the URL of your forms. So if you try to do that yourself to open stage view, that's what you need to do if you want just a single card. But if you use our custom ACE card, uh, it does that for you. And the same for, for our apps, just the app ID that changes. So this is the app ID of the Power app, app in Teams. And if it's any other URL, uh, it's just going to redirect the user to a separate tab and, and it won't change anything. So yeah, that, that's it from me. Uh, it's already live there on our samples. Uh, you can get here on the chat the links. And also, uh, we deep link generator app, one colleague of mine actually created and just helps building these stage view URLs. So it works with a SharePoint page, with Microsoft Forms, with Power Apps. You just sometimes just add the ID of the app or the Forms URL, and that's going to generate the stage view link uh, for you. So if you just want to send that to a chat, for example, uh, you can just use this deep link generator, and it's a lot easier than do it manually yourself. Okay, yeah. That's it. If you have any questions, just send here on the chat and I'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much. Uh, you definitely have to share that link as well for the deep link uh, generator.